How come my Chromebook can't read my Mac hard drive? The answer next on Ask the Tech Guy. This is Twit. Ask the Tech Guy is brought to you by LastPass, the number one most preferred password manager. Visit lastpass.com slash twit to learn more. Hey everybody, Leo Laporte here. Another question from the peanut gallery. Well, or somewhere like it. Pete, uh, Peanut Lee writes. No, his name is Lee. Leo, big fan. Listen to your podcast to and from work and anywhere I'm driving. But now my question. I have a portable hard drive that I use with my Mac. But I want to use it with my Chromebook. Is there any way I can use it on the Chromebook? Or do I have to access my files by buying a Mac computer? Well, Lee, this is a very common problem, and it comes from the fact that there are different file systems depending on the operating system you want to use. Apple has two file systems. There's HFS and there's APFS. Uh, anybody with a newer Mac is going to be using the newer file system. Apple understands both of them. When you're using it on a Mac, no problem at all, or an iPhone, no problem at all. That's their default file system. But Windows doesn't use APFS or HFS. Windows used for a long time a file allocation table, or FAT. Then it was FAT32, and then it went to NTFS. All of these are different ways to write to the hard drive, and they're incompatible. The operating system has to understand that. Macintoshes understand the Windows file systems, but the Windows operating system doesn't really understand Macintosh file systems. And the Chromebook doesn't understand Macintosh file systems either. In the case of Windows or Mac, you can add additional software that'll help them understand it. But the best choice is to use that external drive in a format that the Chromebook, the Macintosh, and the Windows computer will understand. And that's FAT32 or XFAT, E-X-F-A-T. This is a, a, a really good file system, maybe not as good as APFS or NTFS, but it's fine for an external hard drive. And if you format your drive using the EXFAT system, everything will understand it. So, and by the way, the good news is Microsoft has announced they're going to open source the uh, XFAT file system. So it'll be available in Linux, too. And that means every possible computer will be able to read these disks. Here's what you're going to do. You've got this Macintosh external hard drive. You're going to need to get a Mac and read the data off of it, because that's the only thing that will read it right now. So read the data off of it. <clears throat> then you can use the Mac, use the drive utility on the Mac, to reformat it to XFAT and copy that data back on. Now, that USB drive will work everywhere you want it to. You can plug it into the PC. You can plug it into the Chromebook. You can plug it into the Macintosh. And those files will be available to you. So the trick is to use a file format that everybody can read. And for right now, anyway, I'm recommending uh, XFAT. If, if you find you have a device that won't understand XFAT, like, for instance, a Linux laptop, the next best thing, it's not quite as good, but it, it'll work, is FAT32. And that is really the, <laughs> the lowest common denominator. And I mean lowest common denominator for file formats. File systems are confusing. They're weird. You don't normally see them. And the only time you really run up against them <laughs> is when either you have a hard drive problem or you're trying to use a hard drive on a different thing. A lot of times when you buy uh, hard drives, external hard drives, they're formatted for a specific computer. You'll even see on the box, it'll say, this Seagate drive for Windows computers. That means it's formatted with NTFS, probably. Or this Seagate hard drive is formatted for Macintosh. It's probably formatted with HFS+. Plus. If you reformat it with XFAT, it won't matter. Everything will work just fine. Show today brought to you by, as always, LastPass. You only need one master password, and LastPass will take care of the rest. Their new business lineup includes single sign-on technology, which goes well beyond standard two-factor authentication. 
using biometrics and geolocation. It's Security Challenge, which scans all your passwords and then tells you exactly which passwords are weak, which are reused, which are putting you at risk, and even helps you fix them. LastPass.com slash twit. Find out how LastPass can make your life more secure. LastPass.com slash twit. That's it for this edition of Ask the Tech Guy. If you have a question for the Tech Guy, email me, askthetechguy at twit.tv. I'll see you next time. Stumped on a nasty tech conundrum? Email askthetechguy at twit.tv.